uh, a city motorist has been praised online for his heroic act after numerous armed men accosted him. Um, a van could be seen, as you can see there in the clip, uh, can be seen driving in front of the Outlander. And as it turned to enter a gate, he slowed down. Unknown to him, another Toyota vehicle was waiting for him in the opposite direction. An armed man exited the car and accosted the driver who expertly reversed. And I think, you know, when, when, when you find yourself in a situation like this, most of the time you panic, yeah. you freak out, and you don't know what to do. Oh, look at those kids. The oh, kids my goodness. Yeah. We're the so poor close. kids. Yep. You know, the, the thing about this video is the aggressiveness. Because usually when your plan is foiled, you know, people just abandon ship. Like criminals tend to abandon ship when if the first thing goes wrong, yep. like the person doesn't react how you anticipated they react, you abandon yeah. ship because it's broad daylight. Yeah. But these guys decided no, one is going to follow him as he's reversing. Mm. The other one came around back to block him. Mm. So was this really, was it an attempted robbery? Was it an attempted kidnapping? Was it a carjacking? What's going on? Because the aggressiveness with which they're going after this motorist is yeah. just ridiculous mm -hmm. and the fact that um even over the cctv when over the recording you can hear him saying i was reversing so fast i couldn't see those kids because of course you're in panic mode mm -hmm. so what if i had ran over those kids and you've endangered so many people he's a quick thinker obviously yeah. but the aggressiveness like things are getting thicker than you yogurt know, in Mariam, kenya eh? yeah what happens is ukikumbuka uliambia landlord nitakupigia saa nani nani saa nne na bado uoni dalili na huyu jamaa anataka kupandisha windscreen whatever it is the the, the wind yeah. you will be aggressive yeah. like this guy is doing but um, also other life skills you know there was a time when we were having a drill here at Nation Center mm. and we were security drills and you after doing them that's when you realize how much everyone out there should be given these drills like in the country we should all have some sort of you know basic training on safety or even you as a person take it as your personal initiative if I got involved in a carjacking, if I got involved, because one of the things people are told that ukipatikana na muizi in a situation like this, your first weapon is your car. Mm -hmm. You will have to either run over him or fanya viluta, fanya drive away, do what it is you, you will need to do, but do it so that you can get away. Because a lot of these people, you don't know what extent they will go to. Mm -hmm. They will steal from you, akisha maliza kitu mwambi, ah, but si ameniona. Mm -hmm. so that they decide to take it even further. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that this person got out clean. Mm -hmm. I hope that now that we have the CCTV footage, we'll be able to do something because we have, the DCI has shown us before that if they want to do something, they can. I, I, I'm tending to think that uh, probably these were not uh, professional carjackers. When you look at how they were trying to, you know, get hold of the driver, trying to hit the car, that's not yeah. what a professional carjackers will do. And I want to believe in most cases, carjackers will be having a gun. And probably why most people find themselves being carjacked is because the other person has a gun. There's no way you're going to argue with a gun. Wait, what do you what do you say? What are you what are you saying? Just so that I understand it. <laughs> Never he's saying and they should have been more professional. Yeah, he's yeah. saying, yeah. They should have he's more saying professional. Rumusia carjacking. <laughs> that's what sound, he's saying. You sound like a reformed carjacker. Oh, oh, yeah. come on. That's, that's just you what I was like about to say. You used to live classes, and that is in your past life, but now you've changed. I mean, uh, no, no. Have you ever had that thing where you're seeing someone doing your job badly? Yeah. Like, yes. you know, <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> the issue. Yeah. Like, that's if I want anything done, I have to just do it myself. <laughs> Victor is like, you know are you guys what? telling me that if I don't kajak a car, you guys are not going to do it properly? <laughs> How? Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> this is all you could do. Yeah. This is all you could do. No, I mean, I don't even think there are professional carjackers. And the reason maybe we're seeing crime increasing and Kwanzaa, we are now seeing it during the day more and more. I think, you know, it just speaks about the economy. It just tells you where we are at um, with uh, our pockets financially. A lot of people are strained and I'm not saying it's justified for you to go out and attack people. I'm just saying that you usually see a rise in crime when people are just, the yeah, yeah, when the economy is suffering. My biggest yeah. question though is, uh, you know, most of these uh, incidents have been captured on CCTV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what happens, I mean, after that? Because you're able to read the, the car number plate. Yeah. What happens after that? Is it that these guys are putting on fake number plates, like we saw the Mirema uh, shooting incident? We have the CCTV, we have faces being captured on camera. Is there anything being I done? I think maybe basically what I would say, Nyata, is mm -hmm. when they want to do something about it, they, they will. It. And, yeah. and my, my, the two examples I use is when uh, the diplomat was harassed, the lady who was harassed with, by Ndudi guys, mm -hmm. they managed to round up those people. 
Yeah. They strangulated their signals and managed mm -hmm. to know which numbers were there, mm -hmm. and they were arrested. Things you only see in yeah. movies. Things you only see in yeah. movies. The other time, there was that other guy who was stolen from in Kilimani. The one they, they took the laptop, then they ran away. But the guy was traced with the jacket, mm -hmm. like they just traced the jacket and mm -hmm. Akashikwa. So yeah. if they want to do it, he does not even need the number plate. They will get yeah. it, even the color of the car, whatever okay. it is. So sort of like men, if yes. they wanted to, they would. They would. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, Come let's on. take a break. We're going to be back here watching TT. <laughs>